Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-2412. Item Number, SCP-2412 Object Class, Safe Special Containment Procedures, SCP-2412 is kept in a standard safe humanoid containment chamber, fitted with a five-number keypad lock. The use of SCP-2412 is strictly disallowed outside of approved testing. If a researcher has the intent to ask SCP-2412 a question about the future, he or she must fill out application 2412-F70 and turn it into the site administrator. If said application is approved, one guard with a copy of the application will be posted inside the containment chamber while the researcher is asking questions. If, at any time, the researcher asks a question regarding the future that is not on the application, he or she will be removed from the containment chamber, and may or may not be given Class C amnestics, depending on the sensitivity of information provided by SCP-2412. Description SCP-2412 is a fully functional humanoid automaton that resembles an adult human female. SCP-2412 is composed of many complex clockwork and steam-powered systems including but not limited to, rotational systems made of clockwork with the functionality of joint rotation and limb movement in general, a large, complex mass of clockwork systems in the cardial area of the chest that often emits dense clouds of steam, and, lastly, a steam-powered engine located on the rear side of SCP-2412 accompanied by a fuel gauge that currently reads 98%. This engine is believed to provide SCP-2412 with energy to function, but this cannot be proven, as no attempts to breach the engine to examine its insides have proven successful. SCP-2412 is capable of vocalization, and is able to speak all known languages, as well as some others one. The object is also capable of basic motor skills such as walking and using its hands as a means to take hold of objects. When asked a question, SCP-2412 will respond with a correct answer, except in these cases. SCP-2412 has posed a question about anything it deems anomalous to, or anything that may be affected by an anomaly 3. SCP-2412 has posed an incoherent question, i.e. were a clock pan leg? SCP-2412 has posed a question about how it was made or where it gets its information for. SCP-2412 has posed a question about a paradoxical situation, e.g. asking about the grandfather paradox and what the outcome would be. In these cases, SCP-2412 will respond with warning, logic error. Aside from these, SCP-2412 is capable of answering, with extreme accuracy, any type of question. These include, but are not limited to questions regarding the future, scientific theories currently unconfirmed or misunderstood, and laws of nature that are not currently understood. It is currently unknown where SCP-2412 gets its information, and when posed a question about this, it will respond with warning, logic error. Discovery Log SCP-2412 was discovered in an abandoned factory in H, South Carolina. The factory had been abandoned for at least 150 years, dating no further back than the year 1825. Interview Log A1 Interviewer, Researcher Carter, Project Leader, Interviewee, SCP-2412 Researcher Carter is only allowed to ask the basic who, what, when, where, and why questions. Hello, SCP-2412. We would like to ask some questions. Before we begin, do you have any questions? No. All right, then. Let's get started. When were you made? Year, 1866. How were you made? Warning. Logic error. Why were you made? Mankind fears evil. Mankind creates God. Mankind fears germs. Mankind creates antibodies. Mankind fears paranormal. Mankind creates foundation. 
Mankind fears unknown. Mankind creates me. By whom were you made? Creators. Elsat, Chivati, Tylgan, Kufalatu. These four men collaborated to create a machine that would answer questions about the outcome of the war. Where were you made? Country, American provinces of Germany. State, South Havel. City, Frederickstown. Thank you, SCP-2412. The interview is now over. We will likely ask more questions in the future. SCP-2412 remains silent. End blog. SCP-2412 appears to have originated from an alternate timeline. Further questioning required. Seeking approval of an interview about basic human traits. Is it sapient? Can it feel emotion? Etc. Researcher Carter. Approved. Edward Harden, Site Administrator. Interview Log A2 Interviewer, Researcher Carter, Interviewee, SCP-2412 Researcher Carter will ask questions related to emotions. Greetings once again, SCP-2412. I'll ask you some more questions today. First, do you originate from our timeline? No. How did you get to our timeline? Warning. Logic error. Where is the American provinces of Germany? It is located in what you would call the United States of America, as well as small parts of southern Canada and northern Mexico. When will your steam engine run out of fuel? In eight years. In our first interview, you mentioned a war. What war is this, and which faction was victorious? The war between Germany's colonies and Germany. Germany's colonies wanted to be independent. The German colonies came out victorious, and created the American provinces of Germany. Okay, then. Next question, are you sapient? Yes. Are you capable of feeling emotions? Yes. Okay, what makes you happy? Questions. Lastly, what do you fear? Loneliness. Thank you, SCP-2412. We will ask some other questions at a separate time. SCP-2412 remains silent. End log. Extended questioning requested. We need much more information, so I'm requesting a waiver on the questions regarding the future as well as a question limit of 50 instead of 10. Researcher Carter. Approved. Edward Harden, Site Administrator. Extended Interview Log B1. Interviewer, Researcher Carter, Interviewee, SCP-2412. Researcher Carter has had the restrictions on questions, including those regarding the future, waived for this interview due to the massive amount of information that is unknown about SCP-2412. Questions regarding SCP-2412's timeline have been omitted from the log and any information regarding its timeline has been moved to document 2412-DL 1563 for the sake of brevity. Hello again, SCP-2412. How are you? Lonely. Researcher Carter begins questioning about SCP-2412's timeline. Log move to document 2412-DL 1563. Okay, then. For research purposes, at what time will researcher Hubei eat dinner this evening? 6.37 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Next question, where did your original creators go? They left me in the factory after they no longer needed me. They fled to Lewin once Germany's colonies began to rebel. How long were you alone after your creators left? 156 years. Before they left, were you aware that they would abandon you? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry about that, 2412. At what point did you manifest in this timeline, and where? Yeah. 
1864. Location, Charleston, South Carolina. Questioning about SCP-2412's original timeline continues for 32 minutes and 15 seconds. For the sake of brevity, further information about SCP-2412's timeline can be found in document 2412-DL-1563. I will now move on to questions that are not related to your timeline or history. How are anomalies created? Warning. Logic error. How can we contain SCP-8 with ease? Warning. Logic error. Where did life originate? Teeming pools of matter and slosh. Extremophiles emerged and evolved. Are humans alone in the universe? No. Your foundation will soon discover an old vessel returning from a long voyage. Researcher Carter appears visibly happy. Okay. How was the universe created? Internal conflict. Please repeat, question later. When and how will the universe die or stop? Your universe will stop after a heat death. This event will happen in approximately one Google five years. Is there any way humanity can survive after this event? Humanity did not manage to survive before this event. What was the cause of our downfall? Yourselves. Can we do anything to stop this? No. Could we possibly relocate to another universe or timeline? Internal conflict. Please repeat, question later. Okay. That's it for us, 2412. Thank you for helping. Researcher Carter gets up and proceeds to the door. Please return sooner than you're planning. I'll try, 2412. No, you won't. You'll just leave me here for six months before you return to ask more questions. Please return sooner. Fine, I really will try. I have to leave now, SCP-2412. Don't worry about my return, I will be back within a week. I have been dreading this moment for quite some time. I cannot change the course of time. I know this because I have tried in the past. But, regardless, I will make an attempt to. I want to be asked questions. If you can't manage that, please visit me on occasion. It doesn't have to be you, just send someone. Just please don't leave me in solitude as you intend to. Please. Make a hasty return. Don't worry, 2412. I will. Researcher Carter waits for a response from SCP-2412 for 15 seconds, and after he determines that it will not respond, he leaves the room along with the posted guard. No, you won't. End log. Researcher Hubei, who had been working on SCP-8 at the time, was asked to record the time that he ate dinner. The time was consistent with the time that SCP-2412 stated. Further questioning requested. Researcher Carter. Denied. I feel that we've gained enough information for the time being. Edward Harden, Site Administrator. Requesting further questioning, once again. I feel that we have a lot to learn from her. Senior Researcher Carter. Denied. Since you're no longer project lead, you'll have to fill out the application just like everyone else, Carter. Edward Harden, Site Administrator. Thank you for tuning in, we hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations. Re